Howdy who and welcome to Nev's Gaming. We are here today on top of our villager breeder tower, the Tower of Doom. But uh, we are not here for villager breeding. No, 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 no. We are here in the district to show you some work that we have been concurrently doing off off uh, video, not off stream. I did it on stream. So make sure you go check me out. Uh, slight plug in there, Nev's Gaming 101. Go check me out on Twitch. But look, we've started doing the pathways. The pathways in between all the buildings to make this area mob proof. Again, some of the buildings aren't actually buildings, so we're just going to go round them. And yes, I'm going to leave some of the uh, gubbins, as we call it, uh, open here and here. Because uh, this is the uh, factory district so we don't need to worry about that while I'm here though I have noticed a few things like my gear my gear is not enchanted well some of it is but some of it isn't and if we take a look at our gear we'll see here it is slowly wearing away that's right it's wearing away and we need to repair it so what I am going to do is I am going to to get some pumpkin and melons, get some mending on my gear, and we are going to repair it all, including my shield, because my shield is my lifeline. Oh. I just lost all them levels. Oh, why did I do it? Why did I do it? Right, hopefully all my gears there. Why did I just do that? I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Please tell me my gears all there. Let's go take a look quickly. Oh, why did I think I could make it? Oh no, I had 27 levels and all those levels have disappeared. And repaired my pickaxe. Ah! What an absolute wally I am. Ah, let's go get these pumpkins and melons sold. Walking through the noisiest place on the server. Oh, yes. Here's our villager trading area. And look, look. We've got some more villagers in, all completed. With more things that we need to put on our armor and that. And we've got half a door. Secret entrance, yes. These are all in, we've got our... Wow, a little, 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 we've got these guys here, cartographers, we've got our leather workers, our shepherds here, over here we've got our fletchers which we already had, we've got our butchers here, our fishermen, by the way, I've worked it out, worked it, so if we have a look in here, law one, law Look at the C1 and Law 2. So we can add them on as well. If we need to. Each one has obviously got a different one. These. These are just went for the different banners. That they'll produce. These I tried to get all uh, blue leather leather dyed armour. Uh, that was my main goal. But main uh, also wanted saddles. Uh, the butchers. I believe was these here. I made sure I could get a lots and lots of pork chops. I tried to get the initial different ones at the start off with, but it didn't work out that way. And then the armorers. So let's have a look here. Projectile protection four and unbreaking three. And projectile protection three, unbreaking one, and respiration one. That's just on one. Yes, I did a lot of trading for that. But let's not <laughs> let's not get too uh, bogged down on it. Moving on to oh, take a spin round. We've got our weaponsmith. 
Again, I didn't really concentrate on the first few items. I'll move down here so we have sharpness, knockback. Again, what we've got here, we've got smite, sharpness 2, knockback 1. These seem to be a lot uh, the main the main enchantments that we were getting on them. Uh, so I just stuck with them. And finally, our toolsmith. Uh, we've got a diamond hoe there, but fortune 1, efficiency 2 and unbreaking 2. Moving down in this noisy area, efficiency 2, fortune 1, efficiency 2. Uh, I believe we got silt touch on one of them. Um, keep going. Where is he? No, no. Where are you? are you? Is it you? It is. Look at that. We got silk touch. We got silk touch off our main man here. But yeah, that's what I've been working on so far. Getting all these in and bread. So let's start trading up these um, melons. In order to get all that XP, and I believe I just threw them all in there. Oh, did I? Nope, they're on the floor. Good, because I haven't got the space yet. Fantastic. Right, I'll see you after I've done this and the pumpkins. With the last few trades and a noisy, noisy background, we should now hear the chimes of us getting. To oh, yeah, we already are level 36. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade the rest of these pumpkins up now. And then... Let's see what level we actually get to. 36. Come on, can we get any higher? Can we get any higher? 37. 38. And I think that's about going to do it. I think you're going to stop at 38. With the last few bits of pumpkins. Oh no. We might make it to 39. Yeah, 39. Well, you can't see me. 39 levels in our from our villagers simply trading pumpkins and melons for about 20 minutes. Fantastic results. I've made a small little hole in the background here. I realized while I was waiting for my villagers to restock. That, instead of going all the way to the main area, why don't we build an enchanting table right here in this room here? That I dug out while I was waiting. So one side's going to be the enchanting table, and I'm going to have a nice chandelier going down. This side, I'm thinking a more library area. So we'll, if we go over here into the corner, we'll have different books, you know, places to sit and read, maybe a desk one side. Oh, possibilities are endless. Or we could build further out in almost a cross shape and have a desk area there. This looks absolutely large compared to how tall I am. Right, let's build the enchanting area. Let's go and take a look through into our new enchanting space. There it is, right at the end there. Oh, a lot of noises going on in the background. Oh, we've got particles now floating through the air. We've got a nice little mosaic pattern leading into the. Yes, yeah, so I had to put I had to put the crystallite, um, the Anders uh, amethyst on the floor just to make that noise, make it a bit more magical. We've got a magical blossoming, uh, spore blossom on the roof, producing all these particles, almost giving that energy to the enchanting table there. I went for a bit of mangrove and the mixture of mangrove and. Uh, another wall block uh, for the ceiling again, just to make it. I just feel it's magical in here. The use of candles and the new uh, bookshelves have also been introduced with a nice little desk and reading area. Fan Dabby Dozy. Uh, I may have also built something else while I was. Uh, uh, it, yeah. I may have built something else while I was. You know, collecting all the materials, I decided to uh, build a place for the masonries. Uh, if we look behind here, each one has a oh stone masons. Um, each one has a different is a different trade. So we've got all the glaze this side, and we've got all 
the normal ones this side. This took me three hours. Three hours. Some of that was done on stream. But I decided to, anyway, apart from the time frame, I decided to connect them both up uh, with this little staircase going down here, introducing the brickwork that we use by trading all these. We've got a nice little stairway to heaven with storage on either side that we can use for trading. Again, uh, we've got up the stairs we go. There we go. Uh, we've got some beds in the background here for obviously so they keep the trades. And we've got slots here for our clerics. Trouble is, I currently only have one cleric. One. And I don't have a ceiling either. The reason being is I need copper. So I've decided on the ceiling we're going to utilize copper. In between here. Now I don't want to show you the final product yet because uh, I want it to be a big reveal. But I need copper for the, uh, for the roof here. So I'm going to go out and collect copper. Finish placing the spruce there, which I thought I'd already done. Oh, and our little village is coming along very, very slowly. I have no idea what I'm going to do with that house up there, though. Possibly another tower. We'll find out. Right, let's go get us some copper. The copper roof is now complete. It does look a bit orange at the minute, but once it starts oxidizing, we can see a bit of colour and a bit of fluctuation. And this tree, this spruce tree that's growing up here, I do like the style of it. So what I'm planning on doing is having two trees in front of either side. Just to give it that more texture and depth, I'm going to make the trees myself. Uh, that I'll, I'll do at a later date once I start inputting more trees around the area. So that's a masonry's building we've got. We've got a church for our nether portal. We've got an area where we're gonna put our animals. We've got our villager trading area here, and we've got a possible armorer building there. Maybe I'll turn it into a shop, not quite decided yet. If you've got any ideas of what shops I should do or what uh, buildings I should put in the area, please comment down below. So that'll do for this episode. I'd like to say a big thank you for watching. Make sure you do like and subscribe if you have enjoyed the video. I have been Nevs Gaming. All you beautiful people have been amazing. I'm going to say a big doodaloo and I'll see all you wonderful people in a few. Goodbye.